Hey everybody, today I'm going to review the SPR Reciprosol model SP7610. Now this is a pneumatic compact reciprocating saw that is very lightweight and it's going to get into places a normal reciprocating saw, especially a corded or cordless version, just cannot fit. Now what also makes this special versus a standard air saw is that it's gear driven. That's going to allow it to have more power, it's not going to burn through the blades, and it's also not going to stall on you like the piston style. And I think when you see what it can actually do, you're going to be very surprised. Now the good thing about this, like I said, versus the standard reciprocating saw, is the fact that it is so compact, it can get to those very tight places where you're normally stuck doing something by hand. Now what I want to do in this video is go over the different features that they have built into this, and then we're going to see how it actually performs. Here's a closer look at the saw, and I do want to point out that the entire black portion the whole way around is going to be the SPR Ultra Soft Grip. They do have a safety switch built in the trigger, so if you just press on it, it's not going to accidentally activate the saw. You do have to press that little tab forward and then push down on it to activate it. It also has a built-in air regulator right here, so let's say you want to go slower or faster, you can turn the air up or turn it down accordingly. The bottom of it does accept standard quarter inch plugs, however I do use 3 8 inch air fittings because they allow a lot more airflow to go through and I can set the overall pressure of my system much lower. The last thing to point out is going to be the exhaust port. It does swivel 360 degrees so you can always make sure the exhaust is aimed away from you or what you're working on. Now of course on the front of the saw is going to be the blade as well as the blade guard and what you want to do when you're cutting is try and keep this pressed tight against the material you're cutting through. That's going to reduce vibrations and it's also going to reduce the chance of you accidentally damaging the blade. Now when it comes time to replace the blade they do have an included allen key. You'll loosen up these two different set screws right here. And then in just a matter of about a couple seconds, you can go ahead and remove the current blade. At that point, you can take your new replacement blade, slide it into place, tighten up the two set screws, and then you're going to be ready to go. Now one upgrade that I would really suggest anybody pick up along with this is not to use a standard air fitting in the bottom of it, but to pick up one of these 360 degree swivel air fittings. To show you exactly why this would be important and would allow you to get into some very tight situations that a normal plug wouldn't, let me demonstrate it for you firsthand. With the saw with a plug right in the bottom, and we take our coupler along with the airline, now we're dealing with something very long that's not going to bend. And in a very tight situation, let's say underneath a vehicle, this could prevent you from getting the job done. If we take the standard air fitting and just unscrew it out of here, and then take that swivel fitting and put it in its place, you'll see very quickly why it would be so important to have. Taking that same swivel fitting, I'll plug it in the same airline, and at this point I can articulate it around and move it around very freely around the hose. So I'm not stuck only in this position, I can move it around and the air hose is not going to prevent me from getting the job done. Now for a speed test, I have two identical exhaust manifold studs clamped down in the vise and I'll be cutting one with a standard hacksaw. With the other one, I'm going to use the SP Air and we'll be able to see the massive difference between the two. And when we take a closer look at the cut quality side by side, you can see the one that the SP Air cut was very nice and very clean with no burrs, but the one that the Hacksaw cut is very jagged and has burrs sticking out the whole way around. Somewhere an aerosol like this can come in and really save you a lot of time is if you have to remove and install exhaust systems. Now many times from the front of the vehicle all the way to the rear they're completely welded together and what that means is you have to cut them out piece by piece. Now you can do that with something like a reciprocating saw, but the problem is the overall size of this is just tremendous and you need to keep in mind the stroke length on the blade. Now when you couple that extra stroke length along with the longer blade, many times it just will not fit and you're stuck doing it by hand. Now that can involve using something like just a handheld hacksaw 
or even an exhaust cutoff tool. But even these wear out fairly quickly and they're very expensive to replace. With the aerosol, let's say you screw up the blade on it, it's as simple as just removing those two set screws, popping it out and putting a new one in there. And I want to show you how quickly it can cut through this 4 inch diesel exhaust. Now keep in mind, let's say you had to take the entire system out, you would have to make somewhere between four and six cuts to get it completely removed from the vehicle. And this is gonna allow you to do that very quickly. One thing that you typically cannot do with any aerosol is cut through very thick metal. And when you can, it's not very efficient, and they tend to hang up and stall out. Now what I mean by that, in this case, we have a piece of plate steel clamped down the vise. It's 3 16 thick by 6 inches long. The gear-driven saw, which is going to be the SP Air, will be able to cut through this very efficiently. It's not going to slow down, it's not going to stall out. Where a cheaper saw with a piston style would hang up and you would not be able to cut through this. So now you've seen firsthand that it could cut through that very thick plate steel. It had a burr free, very clean cut the entire way through and it did not slow down or stall out at all. Now I do want to point out because the gear driven saw has 5300 strokes per minute versus the 10,000 strokes per minute of a piston style, it doesn't burn the blades up. So even after an extreme cut like that, when we take a closer look at the blade, other than some paint wearing off, there was absolutely no damage to it and none of the teeth are missing. So now you've seen the SP Air Recipro Saw for yourself. It's very powerful, compact, and lightweight, and it's able to get in some very tight situations where a standard corded or cordless reciprocating saw just cannot fit. Now you do want to keep in mind this style versus the standard style of aerosol. This being the upgraded one with the gear driven mechanism going at 5300 strokes per minute and then the standard one would have a piston style going at 10,000 strokes per minute. The reason this one's better, it's not going to burn through blades and more importantly it's not going to slow down or stall out on you. Now that was very evident when we cut through the plate steel. This is 6 inches long, 3 16 thick and it didn't have one problem at all. Now I also want to point out it had a very clean burr free finish and the blade was still in perfect condition when we were done. So one cut as long as this is still not going to damage your blade where a typical saw probably wouldn't even make it about an inch into here without giving up. Now I do want to point out one negative that I've seen as far as using this and fooling with it and that's the fact that the blade guard is not extendable. So unlike a standard reciprocating saw, when you start to wear the teeth out you can move this out and then use the portion of the blade that still has good teeth. This is not adjustable so when you do wear the teeth out directly in front of it you would need to replace the blade. Now that being said, if you use quality blades like the SP Air blades, that shouldn't be a problem. But if you do go to Harbor Freight and you buy some knockoff blades, you'll probably go through a lot of them in the same amount of time you would go through one of these. Now I also want to point out one major upgrade I would suggest for anybody, and that's to put one of these 360 degree swivel fittings on. This will allow you to get into some very tight situations, you're not going to be fighting an air hose. Where if you had a standard fitting just sticking out the end of here, you would then put a coupler on and then the air line, and it would make it very awkward to work with. Now I do want to point out the warranty. SP Air does have a one year warranty on this. 
So if you ever do have a problem with it, and it's not an abuse situation, they will fix it for you free of charge. If you like this video, please click like. If you like my channel, please click subscribe. And thanks for watching.